Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to see in detail about the load store architecture in ARM Cortex M processor. Let's get started. So first let us discuss about the loading the data from memory. So there are two major components required for loading data from memory by the ARM processor. One is the ALU that is the arithmetic and logical unit where the arithmetic and logical operations will be performed inside the ARM Cortex M processor. And another one is the memory block from which the data will be retrieved and then it will be stored back. So in modern day processors, if you want to load some data from the memory block of the processor, it cannot be directly loaded from memory to the ALU unit. This is because if in case there is any misbehavior in the ALU process or if there is any power failure or if there is any flaws in program, there is high possibility of memory being corrected directly. This is because the memory is directly read from the memory block and it is processed in the ALU unit. So modern day processors most widely use registers in between the memory and the ALU process. That is the data from the memory which needs to be processed will be stored in a registers temporarily and then from that registers the ALU operations will be performed. So these registers are much faster than memory in the ARM Cortex M processor. So based on the architecture the number of registers available in the ARM processor varies. So using a load instruction we will be loading the data that is required from the memory to the registers available in the processor and from the registers that is holding the variable values temporarily we will be performing the arithmetic and logical operations required for our program. And now let us try to understand the loading data process from memory with an example. So let us assume the instruction that is provided for the processor to be LDR of R0, R1. So this LDR of R0, R1 is an instruction which is useful for storing the data that is available in the address specified at R1 register to the R0 register. So let us assume these are the memory elements available starting from 0x200000002, 0x200000004. So there are 5 bytes of memory that is available and these are the values provided in the address that is 0x200000000 is holding the value 0x04 and 0x20000001 is having the value 0x03 and 0x20000002 is having the value 0x02 and consequent memory that is 03 is holding the value 0x01. So these are the 4 bytes of data available in these memory locations in the memory segment of the processor and in R1 assume that the value of the address provided or specified in R1 register is 0x20000000 and now as per the instruction LDR of R0, R1 within bracket will perform the writing operation from address specified in R1 register to the R0 register. So since our processor is a little Indian based processor or architecture, the data will be written in this format. That is the data that is written in the R0 will be 0x01020304. That is starting from 
the address 0x20 00000, the data will be written in the reverse manner. That is, the LSB will be written in the LSB part and MSB will be written in the MSB part if in case of little Indian and if in case of big Indian format the case is reverse the data that could be written is 0x04030201 so I hope you remember the difference between little Indian format and big Indian format of writing data in the memory in the processor so this is how the loading data from memory happens in the processor so LDR of R0, R0, R1 will be writing the data in the address specified in the R1 register to the R0 register. So in R1, we are having the memory address 0x20000000 and in that memory address, we are having the value 0x04030201 consequently. So those datas are directly written that is those four bytes are directly written to the R0 register using the instruction LDR of R0, R0, R1. So I hope you understood the loading operation using assembly level coding. So now that we discussed how the data will be loaded from the memory for any operation that needs to be performed inside the ARM Cortex-M processor. And now we are just going to discuss about the storing process of processed data to the memory. So this storing operation also cannot happen without registers in this modern day processes. So the ALU block in the processor will not have the direct access for storing the data to the memory. Instead, there will be registers in between. That is the same registers in between the ALU block and the memory. That is the ALU block will be performing all the arithmetic and logical operations as per the program instructions provided and it will be storing back the result to the temporary registers available in the ARM processor. That is ARM Cortex-M processor and these registers will help us to store the data back to the memory with the help of store instruction. So for loading the data from the memory, we will be using load instruction and for storing the data back to the memory or to the memory, we will be using store instructions for loading the data from registers back to the memory. So this is how storing operation is done in ARM Cortex-M processor. So as we discussed in some of our previous videos, these are the temporary registers available in ARM Cortex-M architecture starting from R0 to R15. We are having total of 16 registers. Out of those R0 to R12 are general purpose registers which is most widely useful for storing the temporary data as we discussed before for ALU or for performing any operations in the processor and R13, 14, 15 are stack pointer, linker register and program counter and we will be discussing about these SFRs that is the special function registers in detail in future videos. So for processing purpose, we will be using these GPRs that is the general purpose registers from R0 to R12. Somewhat similar. So the storing instruction may look like this str of R0, R1. So this instruction str of R0, R1 will be loading the data that is available in the register R0 to the memory address specified in register R1. So let us assume we are having the data 0x01020304 in the register R0 and in register R1 we are having a RAM location that is a memory location 0x20000000. So what this instruction does is that is str of R0, R1 does is it will take the value or data available in R0 and it will write that data directly to the memory address specified in the register R1 or it will store the data that is available in R0 to the 
memory address available or specified at register R1. So in the memory address 0x20000000 specified in R1, these four bytes of data 0x01, 02, 03, 04 will be written. That's it. So this is how storing operation is done in the processor using assembly instruction. So I hope you understood how the data is loaded from the memory using load instruction to the registers and also how to store back the memory from the registers to the memory unit in ARM Cortex M processor using load store architecture in this video. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.